Most people in our trainings understand the concept of help. So as we pick up from the concept of helping people, I want you to think for a moment on how you like to be helped in the store. How you like to be helped in the store is often different than how other people like to be helped in the store. So let's review how you approach someone who may or may not need your help. You can walk up to them in our store and say, Hi, I'm so-and-so, and give your name because you are legally liable for your own position and your own opportunity in employment with our company. And you can say, I'm just wondering if there's anything I can do to help you, or are you more just perusing, more just window shopping, and just want to be left alone for a little while? And therefore, you're giving them that opportunity to say, this is what I'm looking for, and I'm not finding it right now. Could you direct me to it? Or you're giving them an opportunity to say, buzz off in a polite way, and you know what that's like. There are some days that we are just not wanting to be pestered by an employee of a shop, and you get that. So by providing them a little bit of polite conversation and a little bit of opportunity to say yes or no, then you've got this. You also know that if our shop is a very small space, we don't have to always do that. But sometimes people are new to our shop and don't know where to find things and they are on a time management system of their own company and they have to find things efficiently. So that is important. At the same time it allows us to gather information for our vendors and for our purchasing department on what people are looking for and what we might not be carrying or what we, they think we need more of and what we need to deplete so that we're not selling crap out of our store.